Hey everyone. Hope you guys are just as excited about this as I am. Uh, first, this video is a follow-up to the 1ARFE installed video that you can check up right out here. Uh, in that video, I pull out the 2ARFE power plant that was in this car and I drop in a 1ARFE instead. Um, externally, those motors are identical. The 1AR just has seven millimeters more stroke, which takes it from a 2.5 liter to a 2.7 liter. So it all bolts in with the parts I make already. Um, in that video, I show a nice positive result. Um, honestly, just the result I had there was pretty nice, uh, but it was obvious that the engine needed a bit of tuning. <laughs> honestly, I was really surprised that the just going from a 2.5 to a 2.7 needed that much tuning, but I spent yesterday doing it. Um, and now keep in mind, I don't own a dyno. These graphs are made using the MAF sensor input, but it's being calibrated by what this particular car got on the dyno with that motor and everything using the same math sensor, the same uh, math pipe and the same conversion curve in the ECU. So in my mind, it's still a very valid comparison. Uh, with that disclaimer out of the way, uh, let's put the original 2G RFE graph up. This curve right here makes for a pretty good daily driver and a great race car. We've been having an absolute blast on the track with it. Now, if we put the 1A RFE on top of it, Here's what we got originally when we used nothing but the 2A RFE tune. And now let's take that away and put on top of it what we've got today. Yeah, can you believe that? That's a solid gain across the entire band. And at the top where you'd expect flow limits to start showing up, the gains are solid across the entire way. Honestly, I had to go over these results a couple times to believe it. Um, I think what might be going on is I might have left a little bit on the table with the 2A RFE. I might need to go revise that tune. Unfortunately, I don't have a car with a 2A RFE right now um, because these gains are more than what you would expect just from going from a 2.5 to a 2.7. But, you know, that's where it's at right now. And uh, as you saw the video in the intro, you know, the power actually shows that it's there. So where does that get us? Well, we still don't know the hard flow limits for the engine. We know that we probably at least have some headroom, but you know, based on what we were discussing the other day, that means if we saw the results that we did indeed see, it means that we need more cam duration because this motor's got more to give. Uh, right now the camshafts are 238 degrees wide and this right here, is 276 degrees wide and the lift goes from 9.6 millimeters to 10.1. Uh, that lift is at the valve, not here. There's a bit of a rocker ratio going on. Uh, I feel pretty reasonable that that'll let us hit the 260 wheel horsepower at 7,500 RPM or so. Uh, there's only one way to know for sure. Um, something else to know is the 1A RFE is a bit on the rare side but the only difference between them and the 2A RFE is the crankshaft and the pistons. Everything else is identical, um, so you can easily build your own stroker 2A RFE just by changing the crank, which Toyota only charges $600 for, and pistons. Now, currently there's no off-the-shelf pre-built pistons for this. Um, if there's enough of a demand, I can get a run of them made and actually put them on my store. Uh, but Effectively, the price difference there between the crank and the pistons, you'll end up at that same $1,000, $1,200 or so, which is basically what you'd pay for the 1AR if you can find one. Uh, the difference is if you build it yourself, you get better pistons, but you have to put it together. And if you buy it, well, there's less assembly work because, well, you bought it assembled, but you'll spend about the same amount of money. Um, so I need to button up a few things on this tune before I can release it. Right now it's designed to run on 545cc Caldina injectors because I wanted some headroom, but the math shows that the stock injectors should be just, just barely, like it's showing like 85%, barely enough to handle this setup. Um, I'm thinking of releasing the tune just with the 545s, but what do you guys think? Is there a strong demand for this with the stock injectors? Does the, you know, $150 that you're going to have to spend on injectors really make or break the whole thing? Uh, I don't know. Leave your comments below. Anyways, that's all I've got today. Hopefully the next video is a Widowmaker video. Um, I still don't have the transmission parts I need for that, but maybe there's something else we can do, uh, particularly, you know, the exhaust. I know that's, that's honestly a big blocker over there, so maybe that's what we'll do next. Um, 
but either way, yeah, I'm really excited about this. And this is just one of two. I just didn't see a need to actually have two in my hands right now. I do have both of them. So see you guys later. Have a good day. Thank mm-hmm. you.